But you know it's whatever right now. So My forehead is like that big. Huh. Okay. So I'm doing freshman advice. I'm very late doing freshman advice. I understand that. I should have done this like months ago. So I'm doing freshman advice from a recent freshman. I mean, I'm not a freshman now, but I was. I'm a sophomore now. So yeah. Two more years left. Let's get started into the video. First advice is always have gum or tic tacs on deck. You know, I've heard anybody say it a long time, but, you know, I just always have gum or Tic Tacs on deck because nobody wants to talk to somebody with bad breath, you know, like in the mornings, you have morning breath, pop a Tic Tac or two in, or gum, I don't know where my gum is, but, or gum, because nobody wants bad breath, um, if you eat breakfast in the morning after school, I mean, in the morning during school, after breakfast, tic tac. After lunch, tic tac. After a snack, tic tac. Tic tac, tic tac, tic tac. Or gum, gum, gum. Because, yeah, no one's talked about breath. Plus, nobody wants to kiss somebody with bad breath. That was just, no. Mm mm. So, yeah. Um. Oh, no, yeah. If you don't have Tic Tacs or gum, and you have, like, here, like, Jolly Ranchers or something, that works, too. That's the a last, last minute resort. Last minute resort, whatever, whatever, you know. Don't ca always count on that, but, like, yeah. So, what is that? Um, always bring your phone charger and your earbuds. That should have been number, number one. Um, because... If my phone was to die, or I didn't have my earbuds with me at school, I'd be miserable. I'd just be depressed all day, like, yeah. Because, um, if you don't have your earbuds or headphones, you can't meet people up, and that's just sad. If my phone dies, I definitely can't listen to music to mute people out, so make sure you bring your charger. So your phone don't die, or if it's close to dying, you can charge it. And if you can't charge your phone in the classroom, Hey, can you go to the bathroom and you can charge your phone in the bathroom if your bathroom has an outlet for like a few minutes. I don't stay, try to stay in the whole class period and charge it because then that makes it obvious and then, yeah. Just for a few minutes and yeah. But like don't bring your whole book back with you to the bathroom, you know. Put the little charger in your pocket and your phone in your pocket. And, yeah. Um, the third, third advice is... Always bring snacks because you're gonna get hungry throughout the day, especially if you have lunch. Especially if you have lunch at the end of the day, because like that's the last lunch of the day, so you're gonna be hungry. You might not be hungry at the end of the day like that, but like before then you're gonna be hungry. So always bring snacks. Yeah, always study too because I remember last year I didn't like to study at all for biology, and I never did until like towards the end of the year for SOLs. But like always study because. When I saw that I was getting um, D's and F's on my test, I mean, not all of them, but some of them, I was pretty upset. I still didn't study, but I was pretty upset. And then, you know, I'd be taken, I would have studied, and I would have got a better grade. Well, I should have studied the first time to get that grade. So just study. Just study. Not a lot, just study a little at least. But, you know, study because, you know, nobody wants a bad grade on their test. You always be organized because that's, that's going to help you, you know, find stuff for class, you know. You should color code your notebooks for classes or label them or both. So that way you're not getting any notebook confused with a different class. For example, you could do Young's Earth Science, Biology, and then Blue can be Math or Blue can be Algebra or Geometry. So Blue could be Math, same thing, but yeah. And then... Yeah. Use different binders. If you like, if you use one big binder for a class, that's fine. But make sure you have it like labeled, not labeled. On make sure you have it sectioned off. 
one section science and then one section math and all like that. Or just use different binders for each class. It don't matter. And like folders too. Do the same thing with folders. So yeah. Um, go to sleep on time. I'm supposed to go to sleep at like 10. But I go to sleep at like 12. I don't have But I only go to sleep at 10. So I do with it. But go to sleep on time because it benefits you in the mornings. You're not as drowsy. Drowsy? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, you're not as tired, you know, and like cranky in the morning if you go to sleep on time. And, you know, if you go to sleep on time, you're less likely to have like bags up to your eyes or black asleep. So go to sleep on time. That's like a little advice. I'm not going to go to sleep on time, I would say. Um, turn stuff, turn stuff in on time too, because if you don't turn stuff on, in on time, it can affect your grade. Even if it's not that big of a difference, you know, in your grade dropping, it can still affect your grade. Why would you want to go for a B when you could have an A? Why would you want to go for a C when you could have an A, you know? So just turn stuff in on time. Plus it's easier on you, you know, you don't have to stress of like, oh, did I turn that in? Oh, no, I, you know. I always ask for extra credit. Now, some teachers are not going to give you extra credit because they're going to think you don't deserve it. But if you're, you're just slacking off in class and you just need extra credit because you don't do nothing or anything like that, they're not going to give you extra credit because they're just, you know, you should have been slacking off. So, you know, if you're that good student, always ask for extra credit. See if it's um, available because it can help your grade. If it doesn't help it a lot, it will help it a little bit at least. And that's better than nothing. Oh, yeah. Be social. Me, I'm antisocial. I'm just really quiet. I mean, I'm slowly getting out of that, you know, really quiet phase. Very, very slowly. A little. So, yeah. But don't be afraid to talk to people in your classes because they're not always that bad. So, yeah. And, like, you could do clubs and sports to make friends too. That also helps. Then again, you know, you can't be quiet. You gotta talk to people and interact. So, yeah. But, yeah, you wanna be social because you don't wanna be in class and your friend not show up and you're stuck there by yourself because you don't talk to nobody and you're just alone you know if Becky don't show up you might be able to talk to Amber you know always check your dress code for school because sometimes you can find loops in them you know to get away with whatever you wear or to make sure what you're wearing before you leave the house is good so, yeah. try not to sleep in class I remember I used to sleep in biology, not all the time, but you know, almost all the time, but like not all the time. And like when the SLLs came, the state test, I think it is, I don't know. When the SLLs came, I was scared because I slept throughout biology, biology and I didn't know nothing like that because I slept when she was teaching. I mean, but I mean like, you know, I got my nose together and you know, all like that, so I passed, but like still don't sleep. And don't sleep in your important classes at least I mean your classes that like are eh, yeah go ahead but like your important classes that you're not going to have like a big test on at the end of the year don't sleep in those just don't that's just a bad idea um stay on a drama because drama is not cute or fun you know that's more that's more stressful and annoying you know because you have to worry about like stuff happening you know you gotta worry about like People adding to it, people putting your name in other stuff. Stressful. Why would you want to be in drama when you could be drama free? Yeah, that's cheesy. But yeah, be drama free. And if your friends are always in drama, then you need new friends. People should not always be in drama. It's not that hard to mind your business or like to not start anything. Next advice is stay away from boys. That's not gonna happen. No one can stay away from boys. You're not gonna be able to stay away from boys. But you can, you know, what you can do. You can distance yourself from boys. Because you don't want them to interfere with your schoolwork or your know, friendships. Because, you know, boys can interfere with friendships. That has happened plenty of times. Not to me, but to people. And that's just sad, though. But, like, don't let them come before your schoolwork or your friendships because a little way more important than boys you know boys come go but like some friendships stay forever you know and schoolwork 
that's important because them grades are permanent they're not going to change so yeah so pit friendships and schoolwork first and then boys later um yeah and back to the boy thing stay away from senior boys freshmen stay away from senior boys they only want one thing so yeah be on time to class is not that big of a deal. I mean, you should be on time to class, you know, so you don't miss out on anything important. You know what I mean? Sometimes class is boring, but, yeah. But I mean, sometimes you want to be on class, on time to class, on time to class, so you don't miss out on anything. Like, don't hang out with your friends in the hall. Catch them during lunch period or whatever. Or um, when you switch classes for periods. So, yeah. Try not, try to be on time to class make a mini essentials bag with like a mini essentials bag with like a make a old makeup bag that's small that you can put like you know mini lotion perfume deodorant gum tic tacs mini toothbrush um you no know, oil diamond sheets face wipes you know that good stuff lip gloss all that stuff you know so when you need it you have it and you're not digging through your bag you just have a bag you open it you find it you know you never know when you need lotion or whatever so yeah um always not always but always try to make a class group chat with people in like your classes so that y'all can share answers because that kind of does help you know make sure at least you have like two smart people in that group chat so when you need answers you could be like a do you have the answers for da 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 or like you no know, answers to tests let's say you haven't took it yet and they took it and they can give you answers for the test because like don't airdrop answers like mm -hmm. don't ever airdrop answers to a test in class it doesn't turn out too well mm, it doesn't so yeah ice is don't be loud in the morning because that's not cute. That's really, really irritating. Like, they have that OC loud laugh for no reason. And they're talking so loud for no reason. When, like, the whole bus can hear their conversation. And nobody cares about Jacob. Yeah. I don't know where that name came from. But, yeah. Nobody cares about what Jacob did. Nobody cares about what Lisa did. I understand that I'm late. I'm saying this again. I understand that I'm late. But, you know. It's still good. Okay, it's still good. It's still good at the moment. So yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah. So you know, everybody that started school already, I hope you had a good first week. And everybody that's starting school right I mean not right now, but everybody that's starting school this week, I hope you guys have a good first week of school. Especially freshmen. Bye.